I'd like to tell you a little bit about this painting. It's in oil, and the farm that's depicted here was torn down many years ago. It was a settlement dating back to 1730. What we had and what I had to work with were old photographs that were given to me by family members. Although the buildings are no longer there, the presence of the sun rising and setting on this farm in the shadows and the elements and the hillside were still there. And so to recreate a painting like this, one has interviews to do, one has a very good microscope to look at the fine details in the photograph, a magnifying glass, and uh, the painting evolved along with the memories of those still members of the family who uh, were around to tell me and guide me through their childhood days where the fences were and where the chickens were and how they took the cows out to meadow. All important details when recreating a historic remembrance. The Karen in the corner of the painting documents, and I'll read that to you, a tribute of respect to Daniel Borneman, 1699 to 1768. Obviously, if you look at the farmhouse, you will notice that it is right now uh, a, a building that would house perhaps two families. Now we know in the 1700s that farmhouse was not there. Most likely the settlement originally began with a log building. And in the process, the log building, there was a stone building added to it and later on the log building taken away and then another building added on because as the family grew there were more members to do the farming and they needed a home for them. If you notice around the farmhouse there's a picket fence and then there's a second fence. That was to keep the chickens out of the yard. We come over here to this building which seems to be one of the earliest buildings on the farm because the log the log structure is still there. And of course, the all necessary outhouse, they've left that there. And back here is a corn crib, and behind that is a shed or a little carriage shed. And we have this very interesting stone wall that is the barn wall, and that protected the cows and kept the animals inside and confined in here. Also, the meadow, which is very interesting with this particular part of the country, the meadows were lush and plush, and if you notice very closely, you can see the meadow flowers. In the springtime, there's the dandelions and the violets, and you can see the, um, the meadow grasses as, as the summer proceeded, and all of the... Um, Oh, the forget-me-nots around the moist areas. Uh, if you look up here in the barn, there are three hex signs on the barn. When I painted this, I used the same hex signs that were actually painted on that barn. There is another building over here, which we assume could be partly the carriage house and it should be uh, probably maybe a pig pen. All the essential buildings, this is what was on the photographs. This was as much material as we could find. I'm sure that there were other buildings on this farm over the years, but over time the buildings of course became dis in disrepair and new buildings were put in place. This painting is on display in the local history gallery. Uh, at the Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center, and we thank the artist Julie Longacre for taking her time to walk us through uh, her painting of the Bornemann Farmstead. It was painted in 2006.